mathematicians. Today's video is for our nines multiplication facts. We're going to use our knowledge of our tens and ones to help us find nines facts that we maybe not know yet. All right, let's jump in and get started. We're going to think about 10 and 1. Why would we think about tens and ones when we're doing our nines? Oh, because 10 minus 1 equals 9. And because we already know our tens and our ones. So we're going to use what we know to get to what we don't know, some of our nines facts. We're going to use the area model and think about a 10 by 3 rectangle. Why? Because I want to solve 9 times 3, but I could draw a 10 by 3 first. Why do I do that? Because I know that 10 times 3 equals 30. And I'm going to use what I know to help me get to what I don't know. So this is a 10 and this is by 3. And I know that 9 groups of 3 is 1 less than 10 groups of 3. So I'm going to slice off that last group of 3. So now I have a 9 by 3. And I'm going to use my knowledge of 30, the whole area is 30, and I'm going to subtract that last group of 3, minus 3. Now I need to solve 30 minus 3. You may know that off the top of your head, which is great, or you could use a strategy like breaking it into 20 and 10, minus 10 minus 3 is 7, and 20 and 7 is 27. So 9 times 3 is 27. Okay, mathematicians, grab your graph paper and your markers or pencils, and let's try a couple more together. All right. We're going to solve 9 times 4. And I'll draw an area model or a rectangle, a 10 by 4 rectangle. And I'll label it 10 and 4. Now I don't know 9 times 4, but I know 10 times 4. 10 times 4 is 40. So I know this whole thing is 40. And I know that 9 groups of 4 is 1 group less than 10 groups of 4. So I need to subtract that extra group of 4. Just cut it off with my marker there. And so now I'll have 9 groups of 4. So that's 40 minus that one group of 4 that I don't need. 40 minus 4. How do I solve 40 minus 4? I like to think of it as 30 and a 10. 10 minus 4 equals 6. 30 and 6 is 36. 9 times 4 is 36. Got it? Let's try another one. Um, let's draw a 10 by 7 rectangle this time. So I'm going to solve 9 times 7. Thinking about first, 10 times 7. 10 times 7 is 70. That's a 10 by 7. I don't need that extra group of 7, right? So I'll cut that extra group of 7 off. Now I have 9 groups of 7. That's 70 minus that extra group of 7, 70 minus 7. I'm going to think of it as a 60 and a 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 60 plus 3 is 63. 9 times 7 is 63. All right, mathematicians, here is one strategy you can use to solve for 9's facts. So keep practicing with your nines facts, using your graph paper and your pencil, thinking about your tens and your ones, multiplying by 10 and subtracting that one extra set. All right, till next time. Bye-bye.